What's up, Brad Squad? It's your boy, Jonathan Elias, here at the Greek Festival in Brooklyn. Now, this annual event is sponsored by St. Constantine and Helen, Greek Orthodox Cathedral of Brooklyn. This festival celebrates the neighborhood's Greek heritage, and of course, it's gonna include a lot of dancing, music, and great food. So let's go check it out. All right, how are you doing today? We're doing great. We're here at the Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Festival on Skimmerhorn Street. We're out here all week long and we are having another amazing day. Now let us know your name and what do you do here? So I'm Father Evagoras Constantinides. I am the Dean of the Cathedral here and I oversee the entire ministry panel of the church. I work at our parochial school. I teach religion there. So now why is it important to celebrate the Greek tradition and heritage here in Brooklyn? So this church has actually been here since 1913. It's been a steadfast presence in Brooklyn. We were the first Greek Orthodox Church in Brooklyn. And for the past 40 years, we've been doing this festival all week long. We go from Monday through Sunday, 11 hours a day. We're open, we're feeding the public, we're feeding the neighborhood. And it's a way for us as Greeks to offer philoxenia, offer hospitality, and share our love of our culture with everybody else. Yes, I love that. Now, what does it mean to be Greek? To serve those around us, to care for those around us. And that's exactly what this church has been doing for over a hundred years in this community. We've been an active part of the community, opening our doors, welcoming the people. And a festival is just one example of how we share our pride, our love of our Greek heritage with the entire world. I love that. I love that. Well, what can we expect at the festival? So this week we have tons of great stuff going on. Food every day during the week from 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. On the weekends we have pastries, lukumadas, the honey balls. Friday, Saturday, we're here till midnight. Sunday we're doing brunch. We have kids activities in the afternoon. We're bringing a magician, we're bringing games, we're bringing sports. Thursday night, we're having a live buzuki night. So we're gonna have live musicians, we're gonna have special different food tastings. And then on Friday night and Saturday night, the highlight of our program is when our children from our community and from our school will put on a Greek dance performance. Oh. We'll have a DJ here. We'll be partying all night long and having a great time. I love it. I love it. That sounds so lit. That's, that sounds it amazing. Is. What's your immigration story? I'm actually a second generation. I was born here in the country, but my grandparents came over. All of them came from Greece and Cyprus. And, you know, they're the story of many people just like in this community. People from Greece moved to New York and started migrating to Brooklyn. And originally, they were walking across the Manhattan Bridge to go to church because the only churches were in the city where all of the immigrants were. And then in 1916 they were like this is crazy we're gonna build our own church so they built their own church and we have it right here since 1916 it was the first church in Brooklyn our story here at Saints Constantine and Helen is the immigration story of many other people we are now second and third generations in the church that are running the church that have the responsibilities our festival is chaired by young people by third generation young people who are here who were born. And it's a beautiful thing to watch this generation, to watch the next generation from our school come and volunteer. You know, we are Greek Americans. Yes. We are proud of our Greek heritage, but we are also proud Americans. And it's our job as Greek Americans to share that with every other Haitian American and Syrian American and Jewish American and all of the communities, because that's what New York is, right? Yeah. It is everybody all together. Right, so now the father said that we had to speak to you. <laughs> Let us know your name and what are you doing here? My name is Maria Tampakis and I'm one of the chairmen of this festival. We grew up in this community and the three chairmen, myself, Gregory and Chris, we came to this community. Our parents went to school here. I was raised in this community. I was raised in this church, in this festival. Yeah. And so as it happens naturally, we kick the old people out and the young people start to take over and yeah. tell everybody what to do. This is a year long prep and festival for it. So we have a 
group of women that help us leading up to the actual event, mm -hmm. cooking everything. When we do all of that planning and prep, we make everything in-house. All the proceeds get donated back to the church and the school that's a part of it. And so it's just our way of giving back to this community that keeps on giving to us. Yeah, I love that. So now why is it so important to represent the Greek heritage? The Greeks in America are so, it, it means the world to us. Like we, representing who we are and what we're about is everything. And just even from conversations where we talk with our hands and we're super loud, like we scream it from the rooftops because we're so proud to be Greek. And when you grow up in Brooklyn, which is a tight knit Greek community, there's so many churches, you grow up with competitions in basketball and who's got a better festival and who's got a better soccer team. Like it's just, we're always involved and we want everybody to know that we're here and we're loud and we're excited. I love it. So now what does it mean for you to be Greek? To it be means Greek? everything. I cook for a living. I'm the executive chef at the Four Seasons New York downtown. And so for like me, we said, boss. <laughs> <laughs> so for me being a like cooking is the only thing that I know and it's what I love. And so even in the food that I do at the hotel, it's very Mediterranean. It's very healthy, very earth focused. Those vegetables that are great, the great olive oil, because when you have great produce, you don't need a lot. And that's what we love to showcase here. So everybody on the show knows that I love to eat. Okay. <laughs> so let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go, eat, let's eat, go. All right. So now we have the feast, y'all. This is what I've been waiting for. All right. So what do we have here? All right, so this platter, we got some different gyros. We have the traditional lamb gyro, and this is chicken gyro with french fries and the tzatziki yogurt sauce. Here, we have a spanakopita, which is a spinach and cheese pie wrapped in filo dough. Here, these are tiropitas, which are cheese triangles with a like feta cheese mixture inside. Of course, we have our traditional Greek salad with no lettuce. We got <laughs> onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, some peppers, and uh, topped with feta cheese. And then to finish the meal, we have our specialty, our Greek baklava. And I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite because my wife makes this. It's walnuts and different nuts and butter and syrup and phyllo and it's all covered together and this is our traditional baklava okay so we're gonna have to get to eating now okay Excellent. enjoy you. your meal <laughs> <Paleotics here. laughs> as my mouth is drooling i'm gonna say goodbye to y'all but i'm gonna try some of this this greek salad first it's so hot out but this looks so refreshing and it is so Guys, thank you. I'm going to be here uh, all day <laughs> and all week. Back to the studio, y'all. <laughs>